Well, good morning, people. Brian Hornback, brianhornback.com. Uh, it's early. It's uh, almost 7 o'clock in the morning, one hour from um, the precincts opening um, across the state of Tennessee. Um, so Eastern Time, which is where Knoxville's at, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., the precincts are open. If you did not early vote, you must go to your assigned voting precinct to vote. Um, in Knox County, we have um, County Commission, Districts 1, District 2, uh, both of those are competitive races. Uh, District 4, competitive race, Kyle Ward and Todd Frommeyer. District 5, competitive race, John Schoonmaker and Kimberly Peterson. Uh, District 6, not a competitive race, Terry Hills unopposed. District 8, not um not competitive. Richie Beeler is unopposed. Uh, District 9, Carson Daly, not uh, competitive. Uh, Carson Daly is unopposed. Um, school board, uh, District 2, District 3, District 5, and District 8, all unopposed. Um, property assessor, unopposed. Law director, um, David Book, the Republican facing Jackson Fiener. Uh, the prop, uh, the uh, public defender, Eric Lutton, facing Sharif Gindi, uh, and uh, criminal court judge Kyle Hickson is unopposed. Uh, so that's the local races. On the state level, obviously the big race uh, that everybody uh, knows about and has talked about is um, the Republican primary for the U.S. Senate. Um, the two big, big names are um, Bill Haggerty and Manny Sethi. Um, and um, Byron Bush is in there. Dr. George Flynn's in there. Um, so um, that'll be an interesting race. Um, in, um, in the state house, uh, state senate, uh, Sam Brown and Dr. James George are uh, competitive, um, looking for the Democrat nomination to then uh, go against Becky Duncan Massey in November. Becky Duncan Massey's unopposed in the Republican primary. Um, from there, we go to the State House. Uh, in District 13, uh, Elaine Davis is unopposed in the Republican primary, and Gloria Johnson is unopposed in the Democrat primary. In 14, uh, Jason Zachary is unopposed in the Republican primary. Justin Davis is unopposed in the Democrat primary. In uh, District 15, um, Rick Staples, uh, and Matthew Park and Sam McKenzie in the Democrat primary, uh, and whoever wins that primary will then face an independent in November. Uh, 16, you have, um, Vir uh, Elizabeth Rowland, the Democrat, unopposed in the primary. You have Michelle Carringer, county commissioner for the last four years. Patty Bounds, the school board member for the last six years, um, looking to replace Bill Dunn. Uh, in the Republican primary. Um, in District 18, uh, Gina Oster uh, is, um, has run a great campaign against um, failed mayoral candidate, uh, failed 2019 mayoral candidate, Eddie Manis. Um, and then uh, whoever wins that primary tonight will then go on to face Virginia Couch. In District 19, uh, not competitive, Day Wright is unopposed. In District 89, um, Justin Lafferty is un not competitive, unopposed in the Republican primary, and he'll face the independent in Greg Mills. So, folks, <clears throat> that's the um, that's the rundown. That's the four-minute rundown of what's on the ballot today. So if you did not early vote, um, you need to get out, and you need to go to your voting precinct, and you need to vote today. Um, because if you don't vote, you don't have a right to bitch. Y'all have a great day. Uh, enjoy this uh, election day. Uh, and um, starting tomorrow, we have the run-up to November the 3rd. Talk to y'all soon.